What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. I'm here with another video. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I'm going to talk about Steve Harvey and his wife and what's going on now. Because apparently she hasn't been wearing her wedding ring for about a month. Okay. And this was after he took her on all of these luxurious trips around, you know, different places around the world, you know, just spending cash on her. You know what I'm saying? And we're definitely going to get into that. Now, I'm not going to have any notes for this video because I know, I, you know, when I do videos speaking about celebrities, especially recently, when I do commentary, you know, I usually have something written, you know, but this is just going to be straight factual commentary on something that I see as a complete embarrassment and a complete hypocrisy. Okay, so make sure you like this video. I really have to address this situation with Steve Harvey because to me, it seems like this guy is trying to hold on to a woman that doesn't want to be kept. Okay. Now you got his wife, Marjorie. Okay. This is the third wife he had, he has had. Okay. And he worked hard to get this woman, you know, now this woman, you know, she, you know her. The story of her and Steve is typical, you know, messing around with the with the bad boys until the the nice good guy comes along and he's able to upgrade her lifestyle. He's able to be a father figure to her daughter and change the trajectory of her life. Right? That's what Steve did. Steve has talked about how he had to work hard in order to gain the hand in marriage of Marjorie, which I don't think none of you, you, you guys should do. Never work hard for women. You work hard for yourself to build a legacy for yourself, to build a name for yourself, to be the man in your family, to be the guy, to carry on your family name, not for some female that was dating, you know, dope dealers, <laughs> you know, you know, the guys who, you know, chose the wrong path in life, the bad boys, you know, uh, you know, never, never work hard for a woman. Never. Because let me tell you what's going to happen in the midst of you working hard in the midst of you working hard. You're going to attract women because women are going to see what you're doing. So they're going to be drawn to you. You don't have to work and work and work and then go out and seeking women. Women are going to see what you are building because women recognize hard work and men they do. But it's up to you to be able to choose the right woman to bring into your life. OK, but what I see with Steve Harvey is very troubling because I think he desperately wants to hold on to what he has. You know, he, he wants to keep Marjorie. I think that you know, he's at an age where he wants to be settled. He wants to have a family. But at what cost? Your daytime show is over. I, you know, he still has family feud and, and what, whatever. I think he's still um, doing other things as well. He, he actually invested in purchasing a TV, stage, uh, TV uh, station, Access TV. He was part of a group of people who invested in that particular television brand. So we know he's making business moves out here, but when it comes to personal life, the way that you start relationships is probably going to be the way you end it. And he started his relationship with Marjorie trying to win her over. And it seems to me that at this point with Marjorie for over almost a month, not wearing her wedding ring, it seems to me that it's falling apart. Now, we don't know if there's going to be any divorce proceeding. This is not a divorce video, but if they divorce, I will make a video and I will say, look, I told you so. Now, yes, I'm a young man, but I'm a young man who understands people. I understand human behavior. That's why I'm able to reach people the way that I, way that I do. Now, let me just say this about red pill philosophy, because I know a lot of you don't know what it is. I'll probably make a separate video on it. But let me just say this. When you as a man, okay, and some women out here too who understand what I'm saying, but when you as a man 
go through life and you and you deal with situations whether it be with a girlfriend or a wife family members work friends you know then you, you have to want to change you have to want to do better in your life you have you want to awake so to speak and i truly believe that in 2019 people are awakening every day but there's still going to be guys who think that if i work hard i can have this woman i want you know they're, they're working hard just to get that woman but you don't understand is there are guys who have who do less than you who could get that woman just as easily and the thing with Marjorie is that she is blatantly walking around or getting on social media without her wedding ring. And she's making sure she shows people because she wants to show people the power dynamic in that marriage. She is in control and she wants to display that by going around not wearing her wedding ring. Now you got females, well some, making excuses for her as to why she's not wearing the wedding ring they're saying well the ring is very expensive why would she go around in public you know with an expensive ring i'm glad you said that with the type of lifestyle that steve and marjorie have i'm pretty sure she has a replacement ring to wear now the expensive ring can be worn on occasions like events things of that nature um but when it comes to just being in public i'm pretty sure she would have a secondary ring to have there right because let me tell you something right now no woman will tolerate their husband walking around without his wedding band so why is it that you have marjorie walking around without a wedding ring, taking photos, letting people know she's not wearing her wedding ring. Let me tell you something about symbolism. Women believe in symbolism more than anybody, okay? This is why there you have women talking about colorism. This is why you got women talking about representation because symbolism matters to women. And when they're not wearing their wedding ring, they're sending signals out there that they are available. I don't care if Marjorie's an older female. You got older women out here who, you know, they mess around to or they, they have thoughts of doing so. They have guy friends. Okay? They're probably more sneaky than younger women because they're 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 more um they have more experience, you know, in dealing with men, you know. So when you have women not wearing, why do you think that when um in a situation with with uh Sin Santana and Joe Budden, right? When she stopped wearing her wedding ring and was posting pictures on social media to let people know, that was a clear sign of not only that relationship was over, but that she's available. You can go in those DMs again, you know women care about symbolism yes they do probably more than men do that's why you got women going around talking about representation this is why they're talking about you know being discriminated against because they may be a little too dark you know um they care about it they care about the fact that there are men out there that date women who don't look like them and it bothers them symbolism matters you got guys who pander to women and tell them what they want to hear. <coughs> Steve Harvey. Symbolism matters. When people apologize for things that they do, it's because symbolism matters. It does. And with Marjorie being her age and understanding this, and you still go around without your wedding ring, even not a, even though a replacement rings, because I've seen married women wear two wedding bands on their on their fingers. They will have like the the gold band, right, and then they'll have their wedding ring next to it. Why not wear that? Because let me tell you this: when Marjorie's in public and she's around men that don't really know her husband, don't really know her, and they see she doesn't have a wedding ring, they're going to approach and they may want to get her phone number 
take her out on a date, you know? So what's she going to say then? That she's married? And dude's going to be like, uh, I don't see no wedding ring on your finger. Because that's the point. Women love options. Okay? And just because a woman is married does not mean that she's not out here making herself available. Because there are women who are married who make themselves available. All you got to do is look on social media. There's, there's a ton of women who have boyfriends or husbands. They'll post pictures with them. They'll talk about how good life is being married. But they're flaunting their bodies. Because at the end of the day, they want to keep their options open. You got females that, that will stop wearing their wedding rings because they want to keep their options open. I'm not saying that's what Marjorie wants to do, but she wants to show the power dynamic in the relationship. It is very clear to me that Steve Harvey is not in control of that marriage. She has not submitted to Steve. <laughs> So she's going around here because she knows he's in control. This guy took her on a world vacation, spent millions of dollars, and she's going around without her wedding ring, man. And, and, and that's because she understands that she is in control of that marriage. This is why a lot of guys who have money and resources are not quick to get married. They don't want to find themselves in a situation where they've put all of this time, money, an effort into building for a woman who at the end of the day wants to have power and control and wants to show everybody that she has power and control in that marriage. These are red pill facts. And for you people who don't like the fact that I bring up the red pill, you, you are the type of people <laughs> who are dysfunctional. You are the type of people who do not understand society. You do not understand that there are a lot of men who are refusing marriages. I just did a video about Nick Cannon. Y'all can go and check it out. Refusing to get married again is even swearing off relationships because he sees no value in it. No value in it whatsoever. Just like Marjorie doesn't see any value in wearing her wedding ring. Okay, she has an expensive wedding ring. Why don't you get another one? Get a replacement. Get a... Uh, she could even get a uh, custom uh, made uh, replica. Why are you embarrassing this guy like this? Steve has done everything for Marjorie and she continues to embarrass him. That just shows you uh, marriage nowadays and why guys just flat out refuse to even go in that direction.